Hey there friends, fans, and collectors. Welcome to another episode of Binary Sunset News. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at some new vintage collection reveals, a new clone that's up for pre-order, and some new findings for the rumor report. Let's get going. Commence primary ignition. Before I begin, I want to remind everyone to hit the subscribe Getting button ready. Below. That way you'll stay on the forefront of the best Star Wars news and reviews as soon as I make them. Our first reveal today is going to be the Empire Strikes Back mold of Lando Calrissian. Now we have been hearing about this figure for a while. It was, I'm not sure if it was original 96 figure, but it has gotten a completely retooled redesign with some amazing changes to a much loved figure. Lando Calrissian is known throughout the galaxy for his style and dress and he loves his capes and this vintage collection figure does have a double printed cape that goes along with him and really does does say something a lot about his style. The Lando Calrissian Empire Strikes Back mold is a long overdue figure. It comes with a double printed cape and it's highly articulated. Second up on our list of reveals is an IG-11 figure. Now this is an amazing vintage collection figure that a lot of us have been really, really clamoring for and calling for, and it does fit their tone that they're saying that they're going to by the time we see the Razor Crest, which is the HasLab creation at the end of this, this year, this fall. By the time we see that and have that in our hands, we should have a huge list of Mandalorian vintage collection figures, the people who were seen in the vehicle and interacting with it. So this is a nice, nice inclusion, and. Hopefully Hasbro continues this trend, as well as pumping out more of the original 96 vintage collection figures. Both of these figures are available this fall as part of the fall wave of vintage collection releases. Stay tuned here, because as soon as I know where you can pre-order these items from, I'll post them below in the description. Next up on our list of reveals is the Black Series Deluxe Wrecker figure. Now, this figure is a character that was seen on Disney Plus's seventh season of The Clone Wars. He is going to be a main character in their upcoming Bad Batch series, and he is a famed clone from the Bad Batch, of course. Now, this figure looks great. He's going to be a deluxe figure, as I said, which means that he's going to come with a couple more accessories. We do know that he has a very unique paint scheme on the helmet, which does, in the pictures, look like it's done pretty well. He also, which is a, a pretty cool note and a nice nod to the Legends Star Wars fi figures and characters, because all of the commandos come from Legends, as we know. He, he has the, the commando rifle. I forget what it's called. DC, I, 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 I'm not going to butcher it. I forget what it's called, but I don't know if we've ever seen this printed in the six inch figure designs. So it's a great, great, great weapon that we know from the Clone Wars that's finally going to be seen in the Black Series 6 inch scale. Now Wrecker is up for pre-order across multiple retails, he's not an exclusive figure, and it will be shipping out later this year. Click the links below to pre-order Wrecker today. So it's been a while since I've had a news segment, and there's been a lot that's been happening in the world, both Star Wars politically and Star Wars as the business. And this past week, Hasbro had their investors conference. And this conference is a meeting of Hasbro's potential investors. And they talk about the future and the direction of their marketing schemes and where they think the company's going to be going. We didn't get a lot of news out of this investor conference, but a new tab has popped up on the Hasbro Pulse website. And this tab offers exclusives that are previously only found in stores through Hasbro Pulse. Uh, this is this is interesting for a lot of reasons, but for one reason for me that comes to mind particularly is the in-store exclusives that were either hard to find, impossible to find, or delivered to us damaged or not at all. Now I'm talking specifically about Walmart and a lot of their exclusives with the vintage collection that we've seen rough waters with through history and this year. Now this could be a great future for properly shipped in-store exclusives and also for our international friends to get some of our stateside exclusive figures. Now we know that it is hard, if not impossible, for some of our international Star Wars collectors to get some of the specific store exclusives that we have, like Target and Walmart. 
this might be a great way for our international collectors to be able to get some of these figures through a more direct means. The rumor report has been kicking up some fun new ideas about what we might be seeing in the vintage collection in the coming future. Now Yakface does a great job about finding these codes both in the Walmart system, the Target system, across Amazon. I'm not quite sure how they do it, but it's very impressive what they're able to dig up and really, really cool what we're able to infer by some of these findings. Now we remember in the past that some of the codes, now these are codes that are used as these figures are shipped from China to the countries, North America mainly, Canada and us, Canada first. And these codes are designations that they're giving to their shipping boxes, their large quantities, and they, they help us figure out when we're gonna be seeing the figures and what kind of schedule and timing we should be expecting to see them here stateside and on shelves. Now, in the past, these codes have told us a lot and specific stores use some of these codes with specific, exclu uh, specific exclusives. Now this was shown previously with the last reveals that we saw earlier this year with the Walmart exclusives, that being the ATS driver, the Princess Leia, and our Ewok friend, Paplu. <laughs> and uh, the, the, these, uh, these figures were designated different shapes. And these newest leaked rumors about vintage collection shipments also have shape designations. So maybe this might mean that they are some more of the original 96 Hasbro Kenner figures that they're trying to get more reprints of. Uh, I don't know, I hope, I hope that's so because all of what that they've been telling us is that that's going to be a focus this year, especially on their reprint waves, is they're gonna try and reprint some of the original 96 figures because that's what fans and collectors are calling for and that's really what's going and sells for crazy on the market also. So, I mean, they're listening to us and they know they can make some money off of it. We have four new shape code designations that were found in the Hasbro shipping records. Now, once again, these were found by Yak Face. They're posted onto their forums and they, they are triangle, rectangle, and square. So these couldn't be any more benign, but they might be some original 96 and I'm crossing my fingers hoping that they are three months into the new year, and I have yet to see, and most people have yet to see, a restock of the vintage collection in any kind of shelf store. So that's Target, Walmart, across the board. Now we're into the new wave of figures, so we've missed a whole reprint wave, and now we're into a second wave. And you know, I'm on the East Coast here, so when we see images of those figures on certain Instagram accounts, and we go out searching for them, you know, on a normal timeline, it takes about two weeks to maybe a month max in order to see them here in the East Coast. So that's a normal time frame. So it's been about, like, it's been, it's been way longer than that. And so, you know, I don't normally expect them, you know, to see on yakface.com. I don't stroll out and expect them to see that day. But the timeline for this is incredibly stretched out. And, you know, I really, really do wish that Hasbro did a better job at stocking their Star Wars supplies because they have other things out there in the market and they do a much, much, much better job. And Star Wars has a lot of other IPs out there and they do a lot, lot, lot better job of getting their name and getting their products out there for fans and collectors to get. I want to remind everyone to hit the subscribe button below. Get and ready. To stay on the best and the greatest Star Wars news and reviews as soon as I make them. Thanks for watching another episode of Binary Sunset News. I am Mike. There's a lot we went over and there is a lot more to go over because it's been a pretty adventurous last couple months and start to the 2021 year. Now, be sure to stay tuned here. There'll be more reveals. There's more rumors to go over. I really focused on the vintage collection with this news, but there are much more Black Series figures and some really exciting Legends figures that are rumored down the pipeline. Your likes and your views are always greatly appreciated. Please comment below. Let me know what you think about these figures. Let me know how your experience has been getting these vintage collection figures and what you think, you know, Hasbro could do to better stock these, these shelves. Have a great day out there. Stay safe, stay sane, and remember, the Force will be with you, always. I'm just a simple man trying to make my way in the universe.